Ladies and gentlemen, accepting on behalf of Marie Stokes is Hall of Famer and Maurice's dear, dear friend, Jack Twyman. The presenters, two basketball's all-time greats, Oscar Robinson and Bob Pettit. Thank you very much. I'm deeply honored to be here representing Maurice. Uh, at the outset, I would like to, on behalf of Maurice and myself, extend our sincere congratulations to the class of 2004. I had this opportunity several years ago, and I guarantee you it'll stay with you the rest of your life. It's a big deal. I'd also like to thank a special thanks to Oscar and Bob. I thought it was important that uh, the presenters or the introdu introducers uh, tonight knew Maurice and both Oscar. Oscar visited Maurice in the hospital and, uh, and Bob played against him for three years and they both know the quality of the person and uh, were well qualified to be here this evening. Uh, we all know what a player Maurice was. I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about Maurice the man. And let me start by saying, everyone in this audience, imagine going to bed on a Saturday night at the peak of your game, the world is your oyster, your, uh, uh, your future is so bright, and waking up on a Sunday morning totally paralyzed. Uh, nothing worked, not knowing why, uh, how would you react? How would I react? I don't know. How did Maurice react? After a week or two, I asked him, what did you think about when you were aware of what your situation was? He said very simply, I had one of two choices. I could have quit or I could have rolled up my sleeves and used every ounce of energy that I had to beat this thing, whatever it was. And from May 15th, 1958, for the next 12 years. That's exactly what he did. His regimen was something that you couldn't imagine. Starting at 9 in the morning, going till 6 at night, in physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, uh, and at the same time, keeping abreast of current events, sports, music. Uh, over the 12-year period, think about this, a totally paralyzed person never failed once to vote in a local election, a state election, or a national election. And, 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 and just, it was amazing. And, and, and never, ever in the 12 years did I ever see him depressed or angry or why me or how did this happen? He looked forward to the new day every day, and he was an amazing person, and it was an unbelievable opportunity for me to be exposed to this man and to see uh, what, uh, what he was made of. And as Wayne said in his piece, he inspired everybody that came in contact with him. And the hospital used him a lot to talk to patients that uh, were having a tough time. But Maurice inspired everyone that came in contact with him. But he didn't do this on his own. He was inspired by many people. And I would be remiss tonight if I didn't mention a few. And I'm going to start with the Kutcher family. Milton and Helen Kutcher, on their own, came to me and said, this guy needs a little help. We have a little hotel up in Monticello, and we're going to open up our hotel to anybody that comes, and I think we can raise a few bucks, and we're going to, we're going to pay all the expenses. Every penny that we raised at those games were uh, uh, given to Maurice to help defray his expenses. Unfortunately, Milton passed away a few years ago, but Helen and her family are here, and they will never, ever know how much they meant to Maurice. The players that came to Cutcher's every year at their expense, and, and 
I always tell the story. The first year, Wilt was playing with the Globetrotters in Europe. He got on a plane in Paris, went to Kennedy, rented a helicopter, came to Kutcher's, played the game, back on the helicopter, back to Kennedy, back to Paris, at his expense. And he never missed a game for the 12 years that we had the game that Maurice was alive. I think, I think the first year we had 60 players, many of whom are here tonight. Uh, and, and I often think that, uh, you know, each of us, when we went to play the game, had in the back of our minds, there but for the grace of God go I. And I think that's what motivated every, we didn't have any insurance in those days. And I think Maurice's plight caused the NBA to reevaluate their relationship with their players. And, uh, and as a result, uh, uh, improve the, the benefits for, for, for the players. Uh, there's a fellow here tonight, Milt Cantor of Dayton, Ohio. It seemed whenever Maurice needed anything, Milt, Milt stepped forward and made the arrangements. He arranged the plane to go to, de to uh, Cutcher's every year. Good Samaritan Hospital in Cincinnati. You read about going into a hospital these days and uh, they want to get you out there in four or five days. Uh, you don't stay in the hospital more than a week, and it's very unusual to stay two weeks. Maurice was a good Sam for 11 and a half years, and he was part of their family, from the parking lot attendant to Sister Grace Marie, the uh, president of Good Samaritan Hospital. They all took him under their fold, and that inspired Maurice. They, every day, it was, a, it was a kind word from somebody through the course of the day. And then St. Francis College. St. Francis College meant so much to Maurice, and I think Maurice meant a lot to St. Francis College. I can never forget the day, and, and we're, there are a few players in this room, and I don't know of many. Uh, there was one day when Father Vince came down from St. Francis to one of our Sunday outings at our house, and he surprised Maurice, and he said, I'm here to ask your permission to name the new field house, the Marie Stokes Field House. And there aren't many of us that have a field house name for us, but that's what the interplay between St. Francis and Marie Stokes. And lastly, uh, before I sit down, I'm very proud of my family. Uh, Carol was the glue to our family. And uh, uh, when we had Maurice over, Jay and his wife Marion are here, and Michelle and her husband Josh are here. Uh, Julie and Lisa are not here, but I'll guarantee you they're watching on television. So my family accepted Maurice into our family, and our kids grew up with him, and our, our Sunday dinners were, were, were something that we all looked forward to when Maurice would come to our house. After about 10 minutes, it was Maurice and Carol. I wouldn't say they were arguing, but they were conversing very loudly. But they, they, he loved to go after her, and she loved to go after him. And uh, it meant a great deal to us. And you can imagine our family, what we learned from Maurice. Much has been said that I've done so much for Maurice. Whatever I've done for Maurice, I've gained tenfold from him. Just to be exposed to the person that he was on one side, and what he went through, and to be exposed to the wonderful charitable thoughts and, and acts of many people. Uh, around this country. It, it, it quickly allows you to determine what's important and what isn't important. So in closing, I, uh, I, I, uh, tonight is kind of bittersweet. I'm thrilled to be here on behalf of Maurice. He belongs in the Hall of Fame. He was a great player. I'm a little sad that he isn't here. But then again, maybe he is here. Maurice loved the party, particularly when he was at the center of the party. And in closing, let me just say, congratulations, big fella. You made it. Thank you.